In this video, we'll see how to use the index function in Excel to pluck out specific values from a table. So you have a table here of college names, the states they belong to, the total cost of attendance per year, and the student to faculty ratio. Now, what we did in a previous exercise was to use a match function to find out the position of the lookup value of 13,780. That means we took the number 13,780 and found out that 13,780 is um, the total cost per year for Adelphi University, which is the first, second, third record in this table, and put the number 3 here by using the match function. Now, the number 3 is referred to as um, the index position of this lookup value of 13,780. And we wish to use this value of 3, the index value, in the index function to retrieve the name of the college and the state that it belongs to based on this index value. To do that, I'm going to click on the cell H6 and click the insert function button and go to lookup and reference. And within that, scroll to index, open. There are two alternative argument lists here. You should choose the first one, array, row number, and column number, and OK. The array you wish to choose is just the data in your table. I'm not choosing the col uh, column names. I'm just choosing the data. The row number that you want to choose is the index position in the cell H4 here. And the column number you want to choose is the column number in this table. So since I want the college name, the column number for the college name is 1. And so I'm going to choose 1 here. OK. And the index function will very helpfully pluck out the name of the university, the name of the college in response to your actions. Let's do the same thing with state. Again, I go to FX, look up and reference, index, I'm sorry, index, OK. And row number, column number is this time 2. And student faculty ratio likewise. Now I don't wish to keep typing the formula again and again, so I'm just going to use a shortcut here. So for the index function, I'm going to select this range um, here and press F4 on my um, shortcut function keys on my keyboard. And Excel will insert all these dollar signs so that the cell range here will have absolute reference. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to also do the same thing for this H4 here. That 2 doesn't change for my three cells. So I'm just going to press F4. And finally, instead of 1, I'm going to say this cell here, I6. And here I'm going to put 1. And here I'll put 2 and 3. So now I can very simply just drag this fill handle down. And now I will have um, there should be four actually, so not three. Okay, so now I will have the name of the university, name of the college, the name of the state, and the student to faculty ratio plugged out based on these um, column numbers that I input on the column I. And finally, we'll take care of the formatting here. I just want to first say no border and then thick box border. So that takes care of that. So that's a illustration of how you can use the index function along with the match function. The match function will take a lookup value and match that and get you the index position of that lookup value, which is number three in this case. And the index function will then take the index value and it can pull out other information from your table. So that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.